Have you ever heard the terms pressure control or volume control on the ventilator and been like, what foreign language are we talking today? Well, after today, you will not be having that question again. Let's speak RT for a minute and go over the two different modes. Ultimately, the difference is just how we choose to deliver oxygen to our patients. You can either deliver a certain amount of volume, so volume control to the patient, or you can deliver a certain amount of pressure to the patient and thus pressure control. Let's move on over to the ventilator. That way I can kind of explain it. Now, if I click into this volume control mode, you're gonna see this VT right here, or your tidal volume. That's just the amount of air that you pull in with each breath. If I have a patient who's a certain amount of height, uh, I'll determine their idle body weight. We're not gonna get into that today. And that will give me a safe range of where I should put their volume at for each breath that they breathe in. So say this patient's safe range is somewhere around 450. We're gonna put in 450. If I then hit start, it's gonna now try to deliver exactly 450 mils of volume with each breath. I'm gonna speed that up so you can see that on the ventilator. Now you can see that the ventilator is basically caught up with the 450 mils. Moving on to the next mode, we're gonna look at pressure control modes. Remember what I said before, pressure control is just giving the patient a certain amount of pressure to deliver whatever volume they get at that amount of pressure. It's kind of a balancing game where you're like, give them a little bit of pressure, see what they breathe, go from there, but it does the same thing. Now, instead of that volume at the top, right, that, that tidal volume, you're gonna see this delta P right here. This is gonna determine how much pressure this patient's gonna get. So say I want this, pre this patient to get about 20, uh, 20 on their peak. So I'll put in 15 and my peak will be five. As we're gonna take a look, this vent's gonna start to kick in and I'll show you exactly, oh, there it is already. All right, so top left here, see our peak pressure is now 20 and look at our volume. So we were breathing 450 earlier at a, like a peak of 13. Now at a peak of 20, we're bringing in about 627 with this specific patient. It's kind of a balancing act. I can go back down to 13 and this patient will start to breathe somewhere around 450 mils. Ultimately, at the end of the day, when you have your intubated patient, it's kind of a, you know, what you're most comfortable with. Some people really swear by pressure control. Other people are more comfortable with volume. Which mode are you more comfortable with? Y'all have a good day.